I think RPL is uh, very important because there are plenty of people out there who've had experience in the workforce for many years. They may not have had the academic qualifications from school for whatever reason. However, what they've learned in the workforce is something that uh, has shaped their mind and their thinking that when they come back into the university, they can actually apply it in a way that will make their experience of the course be very successful. So the RPL pathway is important because those who have had that experience will be able to use it in learning programming, where they bring their problem solving skills, but also for working with other students in modules like the team project. In the run up to the pandemic, I'd been working in another field, graphic design, which kind of slowed down a lot. So I actually sought out RPL then as an opportunity to kind of skill up. So I had some previous experience in programming and hadn't been working in it for a number of years and RPL gave me an opportunity to get a level 8 degree in software development to recognise that sort of skill that I already had in programming. RPL has really turned around sort of my career in that I've been able to get a job in software development and I, I hope to kind of continue to develop maybe get more learning and certainly more experience in that field now off the back of the RPL studies that I did. Returning to higher education under the RPL scheme was a really transformative experience for me and I definitely recommend it for anybody who's thinking of returning to higher education.